So some people have said to me, why are you doing these videos? What's the point? Well, it's just simply, I just like cycling and I just love sharing cycling with other people and just enjoying cycling and passing on any tips that I've picked up off other people. And it's kind of a community and you just kind of share the stuff that you've learned so that everyone has a better ride, um, enjoys themselves more on the bike. And that's why I started Cycle Speed Tours because I just love Mallorca and I just love seeing the look on people's faces when they come round the bend on some fantastic descent or you see the sea over the cliffs and stuff. And, uh, and that's why really. And it, you know, if just one person comes up to me at the end of the attack and says, uh, you know, thanks for the video, it really helped me, or the cadence was better, or I climbed better, or something like that, then, um, then that's job done really. <laughs> So this is a good time to be thinking about your bike and making sure that it's completely ready for the tap because you don't want to be doing it like a few days before you're ready to go because you might have to order some parts, you might have to get some work done. So just make sure everything's running smoothly and um, the bike is riding nicely in the few weeks prior to the tap and you, you should be fine. So what are the main things to check? Well, first of all, I would recommend that you have a new set of tires on because worn tires are tires that are more prone to punctures so for the price of a couple of you know a pair of tires it's worth just um, having fresh rubber on they'll grip better um, you'll be less prone to punctures and you'll have a, a better ride basically um, just check all the gears are shifting nicely that there's no chain rubber at the extremes there's nothing more annoying than when you're grinding up a col in, in first gear to have the have the chain rubbing against the front derailleur. Um, you want to make sure that everything's all tightened down, secure, nothing's loose, nothing's rubbing, nothing's rattling. Um, that you have also have a decent amount of brake pad left because you will get through quite a bit coming down the hills. You don't want to be hitting the metal on your brake pad. So again, make sure there's there's plenty there. which in the attack this year is the Col de Vars I can guarantee you there will be someone in your group that goes off like a madman and shoots up the first, uh, the first part of the hill do not follow him stay, stay cool he's just got something to prove and I promise you you'll catch him within a few hundred meters I've seen it every time people want to show they're a good climber they shoot off, have no idea how long it is and you're in this for the long haul. So, if anything, go even easier than you would normally. Find a nice easy gear, it may be your lowest, spin it, just settle in, nice high cadence, don't strain anything, and just get comfortable because it's a long way. And then, as you, as you go on, one or two kilometers, and if you're feeling good and happy, then step it up a little bit if you want to and it's far better to finish finish fresh-ish than to uh, get to the top and feel absolutely cooked because you've got the Col du Zouar coming and uh, that's a tough one as well so you want to save some juice for that and it would be nice to be able to finish the last 2 or 3k of the Zouar flat out rather than do it on death's door so uh, yeah, that first call, just uh, just take it easy, nice and smooth. And I want you to go over the top feeling like, yeah, okay, I'm ready for the Uzuwa. And uh, ignore the people around you. And just do what you want to do. If people overtake you, it's not a problem. You'll probably catch them later. And alternate, as we've said on the previous video, you know, try and hopefully you've practiced alternating seated and 
and on danseuse. It gives your muscles a good chance to, uh, to change what they're doing and recover a little bit. And keep the cadence high. So important. You'll see some riders, some heroes that have gone out with 53.39s with a 25 cassette on. Absolutely bogging down, just like we did last year in all sorts of trouble. Good riders, just pick the wrong gear. And uh, hopefully you'll be going faster. And your gearing, that's critical that you make sure you have the right gearing and it's all ready for the attack. Um, now, for most of us, unless you are really strong and fast, you want to be putting on a minimum of a 28 tooth cassette, um, 32 perhaps in some cases. For the front chain ring, I'd recommend a 34. 36, you might be able to get away with it. Um, if, you, if you really want to run a 39, um, then fine, but your cadence is going to be pretty low on some of those climbs unless you're unless you're pretty pretty fast um, the 53 I mean you don't need it the, the down the downhills yeah there's down steep downhills but they're pretty twisty so there's not that many places where you can get up to really high speeds and if you're running a 50 11 then you've, you've got a you've got 65 kilometers an hour high speed anyway so you know that, that's plenty um, so yeah, and this that could be a good time as well to get a new chain if you're changing the cassette. Um, make sure it's the right length because the cassette may be larger than the one you had before. Um, so yeah, that's uh, you know get get the gearing right because if you don't and you bog down on these climbs, you're going to suffer. So make sure it's 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 good for you. And another important thing I would say is don't go trying anything new. For the attack so don't kind of like put on a new handlebar or try a new saddle and think yeah i'll try that for your tap and see how it goes you don't want any nasty surprises you don't want to find that your shoulders really ache or your, your bum hurts or that uh you know you've got some special new wheel which just doesn't suit you or you know just play it safe and go with what you know this isn't the time really to be to be experimenting and just check, you know, the, the usual things. Headset, nice and tight, no play. Um, crank set, no play in that either. Pedals, no play in them. Wheels, no lateral play in either. Uh, saddle nice and secure and tight. Um, everything all locked down and working well, basically.